What's up everybody? It's your girl Tyra and I'm coming back at you again with another video. You guys may have seen my other video about how to be a ship shopper. So today I'm just going to take you on a trip with me doing a couple of shots. Before I go into the store, you have to accept your order. So I'm going to go into my ship app. I've already picked up some orders, but in order to do that, you go to the available orders and you look at the open metro orders in the area that you want to shop in. So once you find an order that you want to pick up, you will just hit claim order and they will end up under my orders tab. So I'm going to show you guys my order. So this order has eight, eight items and I also have another order from 1 to 2 p.m. that has 17 items. So I'm gonna add both of those orders to my shopping list. So as you can see at the top of the screen, my delivery window says 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. It's already 101, so we have to hurry up and get to shopping. So I'm gonna to go to my shopping list, which has the two orders in it already. And I am going to make sure I know everything that's in there and we're gonna get started. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I have made it up to the grocery section of Target, and I like to start with the produce because I want to make sure that we have everything that we need, and if we don't have it, we can text the customer and say, hey, we don't have this stuff, and most of the time, the produce is the stuff that they really want the most. So, now that I'm up in the store, I want to make sure that the customer knows that I am starting their shop. So, I'm going to go into my two orders, and I'm going to send my intro text. And right now, the intro text is kind of long because everything with the coronavirus, the stores are pretty empty. So I'm going to send that text to both of my customers. And I'm going to begin my shop. We need cucumbers, raspberries, and blackberries. It's more of one person but as you can see I have two different orders so the key is to keep these orders separated so you can move as efficiently and fast as possible so the good thing about it is they are color coded as you can see I have one that is blue and one that is orange so whenever I am getting the items I'm making sure that I'm keeping the blue items together and I'm keeping the orange items together so we're done in the produce section and we're just gonna make our way down each of the aisles so I grab one of these so I can keep my orders separate all of my blue items are going to go in the small basket. And all of my orange items are going to be everywhere else. Okay, pizza. We need M22. As you guys can see, the frozen sections are pretty empty, so we don't have this item that one of my customers wants. So there is no substitute for it, so we're going to mark that as not found. And we still need to find this California Pizza Kitchen pizza. So once again, they don't have this item again. They wanted a thin crust pepperoni pizza, and I do see some other thin crust pepperoni pizzas, so I'm gonna mark it not found. And my customer wants me to use my best judgment, so I'm just gonna swap it out for another thin crust pizza. $15.99 Add it into cart. So they want wheat bread. So I can't find the wheat bread that I want. So whenever I'm substituting, I want to make sure that I'm substituting it for the same type of item. So I'm going to look for some wheat bread. 
and substituted with friends. The rest of the stuff is all for the orange order and it's all house stuff. Shelves, more shelves, seven gallon bins. This is fun. All right, so we have six more items to get and these are all for the same person. I know that my order is like uh, separated, so I'm good, but she mainly got all of the house stuff, so this is gonna be easy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay, y'all, sometimes you will get orders where you have to get very, very heavy things. But let's see. Uh, she just wants one shelf, so the two cube organizer. Okay, hold up. My basket doesn't even have a thing on the bottom. I didn't even check that. Make sure you check your basket. Make sure your basket is the best one in the store, especially if you don't really know what's on your order. Uh-uh. I gotta come out of this jacket. It's getting hot up in here. Mm -hmm. They gotta be over here. Okay, 18 pack of hangers. If it's room essentials, yes. Yeah. So another tip that I have for you guys, if you have the Target app on your phone and you're doing ship in Target, look up the items that they special request to make sure that you're getting the right thing. 41 quarts. 36 courses of gallons. How many gallons? Seven gallons. Hey Siri, how many quarts are in seven gallons? Seven gallons is 28 quarts. We are looking for made by design. Made by design wood hand paint. How many do I need? Want one of them. And our shopping is complete. Now from here, you can go and review your cart. It tells you which orders are which. It has the blue and it also has the orange on there as well. And now we can view our orders and go to checkout. Let's go. Okay, you guys, now it is time to go deliver these orders. And now that I have everything already processed, I am going to send another text message. I'm going to send the on the way text message so my customers know that I have their groceries and we are on the way. I'm going to look at my estimated delivery time. One says six minutes and one says 10 minutes. So I'm going to click the one that says six minutes and go there first and then go to the one that says 10 minutes. So we're going to navigate to delivery address and be on our way. I've made it you guys so I'm about to get out right now and take these groceries upstairs for this lady where well, they're not even groceries they are literally home goods so I'm gonna take this up and I'm gonna text her and tell her that I am here <laughs> Okay, 
guys. One of the best things I can tell you to do is get a cart like this when you have heavy items. Now I know it's a little hard because we are actually about to go up some stairs, but this is gonna help me get all of the stuff from my car to the place that we're supposed to go. <laughs> gosh okay you guys so that order has now been delivered so now i'm going to go into the shift app and i'm going to mark this order as delivered and immediately after you do that if you wanted to you can go into your delivery history and see exactly how much money you made from that order so the order i just did i made 16 dollars 98 cents now that's pretty good because i'm doing multiple orders at the same time in the same delivery window but if you're doing one order at a time in a delivery window meaning in an hour that's kind of low you're making 16 dollars an hour depending on where you live but on to the next we have one more order to deliver and then we are done just so you know okay yeah um so it was nice okay you guys we are back in the car we just delivered the order we had to deliver to like a gated community so that was fun i got a 20 dollar tip so i'm real so i'm really excited about that and now we're headed back to target because we have more orders to do in 1000 feet turn left onto riverside drive but basically i just took you guys all the way through some shift orders so i just put my 20 dollar tip in my fanny pack i like to keep all of my tips on me for the day and then count them at the end of the day but people can also tip in the app so when i get home at the end of the day i'm gonna figure out how many tips i got for the week or the day whatever you can find all of that information in the shift app but that's how y'all do deliveries. Hey y'all, it is now the next day. I wanted to jump in at the end of this video just to share with you how many cash tips I made on yesterday while doing shipped. So I have that all right here and I'm gonna count it out right now with you guys. So in cash tips on yesterday, I made two, four, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. I made $55 in cash tips and that doesn't even include the tips that I made on the app. So tomorrow, I'm actually gonna be posting a video on my complete earnings for the entire month of March. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you stay tuned for that. And you can even turn on your notifications down below so you can get the alert as soon as I post any new content. So you guys, that's all that I have for you today. If you are a ship shopper and you happen to watch this video, let me know some of your favorite tips and tricks down below because it probably can help me out and it probably can help out a lot of other people as well. And if you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and if you are not already subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications are on so you can get all of the alerts anytime your girl posts any new content thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one